red pill, mm -hmm. blue pill sure. dynamic. I know we've got a picture of that. So, you know, a lot of people <laughs> are talking about these, the, the, these days. I actually did an sure. interview with uh, my guy Hafiz from The Roommates. Mm -hmm. He was basically saying that the red pill has no objective definition and everyone kind of oh. defines it differently. So let's settle this once and for all. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to be red pill? What does it mean to be blue pill? Okay, so uh, first and foremost, these are, uh, again, abstract terms, okay? The red pill as a sort of a terminology was created or was like, we got bounced around back in the day in the old seduction communities and the uh, seduction forums. And we didn't even really call it red pill at that time. We said unplugging from the matrix, right? Because mm -hmm. I believed all of these things about like women. I've been playing by the rules. I've been playing by the old set of, you know, rule book. And I've got nothing but I, I'm, I'm single and sexless and I've, I've, it doesn't work for me kind of thing. And I believed all this stuff. And then when men understand their own nature and they understand women's nature and they understand intersexual dynamics between the two of them, then they sort of pull themselves out of this matrix and they start putting themselves into, uh, you know, came, came out of the gaming community, meaning like pickup artists and stuff of mm -hmm. the early 2000s, which evolved into what we call the manosphere, what we call the, the, the red pill right now. The red pill is a praxeology. It is not an ideology. I, I got to make that clear what does that right mean, now. Praxeology? Okay, so praxeology Practice. is the study of, of like human behavior with the knowledge that that behavior has a purpose or an intent to it. Okay. And there's, by the way, uh, I'm, I'm lifting that term from like, uh, from socioeconomic terms. It's not, that's not even like just some red pill thing we pulled out of our mm -hmm. asses here. Okay. So the red pill to me anyways, is from like say about 2004, uh, is when we started using the term red pill and red pill was, uh, I used to think about women and dating and, and, and intersexual dynamics and love and this and everything in one way. And now that I've learned game, now that I've learned uh, intersexual dynamics, I think about things in a different way. Mm -hmm. And so what happened along the way since that time, I, I went back and I looked at my forum posts from as far back as like 2002 or 2005. I've been doing this a long time, yeah, exactly. okay? almost 20, about 20 years now. And I look back at that and I go, that's the first instance of me using the term red pill way back in 2004. And now what's happened is uh, it gets bastardized because everyone wants to, because it's a popular term online, yeah. on the internet. People want to use it for their political ideologies, their their personal ideologies, their religion, whatever it is. That is, I used to think stupid false stuff and now I think the right stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So the truth is whatever the red pill is for your pet ideology. And that's why I have to say that the red pill as far as intersexual dynamics and the way that it was originally intended, it's a praxeology in that we're going to go out into the field, we're gonna take notes, we're gonna, we're like, you know, Jane Goodall or Diane Fossey, you know, the gorillas in the mist, looking study at the, the gorillas, study yeah. the humans, right? And so we come back, we, we create hypotheses from that, we, we test those in the field through game or whatever, like red pill and red pill awareness is the theory, game ends up being the practice of it, and each one is incomplete without the other, because one informs the other. That's really what the red pill was about. So when people say, well, what's the red pill to you? Well, it's intersexual dynamics. It's not politics because we kept hearing this all the time. Like when Trump was, was running for office, mm -hmm. by the way, Candace Owens, her old uh, Twitter handle, used to be red pill black. Okay, because that was it was a popular term. She politically in politics. hijacks that. It was it. yeah, and so then you've got that. So what's an MRA, men's rights uh, <laughs> activist? What's a MGTOW, men going their own way? What's the black pill? What's the white pill? What's the purple pill? What's this pill? What's your mom? A lot pill? of pills, yeah, out there. exactly. Popping pills. And so I always come back to stay the, drug free kids. To come back, come back to the red pill because what happens is, and right now it get it gets cast as this ideology or oh, those red pill guys believe this mm -hmm. it's not a belief set it is a set of not it's a database it's a knowledge base it's like the chilton manual <laughs> for intersexual dynamics and understanding women's nature and understanding men's nature so when people ask me like what's the red pill i can't give you an elevator pitch for it. I can't do it in like three minutes. Mm -hmm. I have because there's so much that's attached to it. Gotcha. It's about sex. It's about politics. It's about uh, personal relationships. It's about families. It's about raising kids. It's about. I mean, you think of all the things that are attached to sexual dynamics, in the micro level, all the way up to the macro level. That's the red pill. 
all of that is the red pill and people lock in on something that like uh conflicts with their personal convictions and ideology yeah. and they go well the only way i can explain that to myself is to turn that into an ideology and therefore I, now i can actually deal with it and i can like come up with some sort of counter to that rather than looking at the numbers and the data and everything else that comes which sometimes it's depressing sometimes it's hard to accept yeah. that stuff but you have to remember that once you get into that and you understand the numbers and the stats that it's not as depressing as you think it is it's just you don't have the creativity you don't have the you, you don't understand how to leverage it to your best advantage it comes later on but when people first become aware of the red pill or they become aware of intersexual dynamics of their own and women's it can be a, a tough pill to swallow i agree that was the, um, well said so what is the blue pill the blue pill is your old set of your old order way of thinking really it's it's uh stay in what has been uh the, the old rule set the 20th century way of thinking about like say dating for example that's a really good uh illustration there mm -hmm. i'm constantly dealing with conflicts of people who are idealizing say marriage or dating or whatever and they're their ideal is cast in a 20th century old order understanding of what that is. That's blue pill. We live in the 21st century where the rules have changed. And if you don't know the rule set and you don't, you, you're going to, you're going to be like, well, I, we were playing by this rule set. I thought, you know, the 20th century and the blue mm -hmm. pill rule set, and you guys are playing a, 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 an entirely different game and I can't win because I don't know anything about this rule set, the, the new order way of, of thinking about things. That's the 21st century way of doing it. So when I uh, when I listen to say like Hafiz or these other people talking about marriage and everything, all their understanding of marriage is based on a 20th century oh. ideal, not on a post marriage 21st century ideal.